all right. Excuse the yard, we're doing uh, brand new concrete everywhere. It's gonna come out nice, but we got a hot call right now. You guys are in for a treat, promise you that. Ah, let's go. All right, we are inside the port. Container heaven, millions of them, man. This place is insane. This is where everything comes in from all across the world. This is why when you guys are always asking, why do these containers flip so much? And how do we get all these containers? Well, easy, it's just location. Since this is where they all come in from on the West Coast, it just comes with the territory of being in this area. What's crazy is all this stuff is pretty much automated now. Hey, bro, all these things are robots right here. That's crazy technology here, huh? Yes, I was just talking to my camera, aka YouTube, about that. It's all robots and automated now. Oh, we are here. That is not as bad as the pictures looked. Huh, the container's airborne. Whoa. Well, I see. You won't hit that though. So Dave's thinking of putting one rotator here in this aisle and then one in the other aisle on the other side of this. My goodness. See, this is where that Pepe's finesse comes into play. You can't just go straight up. Well, first of all, the container's right above it. And you see the landing gear, how it's caught? So Dave and I are gonna have to play with the tension. That's the front of the chassis, the back of it is... Ugh. <laughs> right there. All right. This is what we live for, man. This is fun. It's a lot more mingled than I thought. Look at the back of it. It's... Let's see. Let's see. Conveniently wedged in the frame, of course. You're not afraid that when you lift up on the tractor and that, that brakes is gonna correct itself and swing, swivel on the kingpin? Well, not really because I'm gonna be holding here. That's why I don't wanna put my chain here. So if anything, it's gonna be caught on the chain too. You know, put my chain gonna be right here. So, so my line of action is gonna probably be like right here. So it'll probably be here. But I think as long as you get it up and off of this, they can move this. Oh, but you're going to be right there. Yes, exactly. That's why I'm going to... Then I'll, be, I'll back up to it. That'll be the safest, best way. Let me... Bad robot. So this thing's wedged in there good, too. That tire's completely shot. Punctured. Broke the barrier. I don't know if he went backwards at full speed or if it fell. I think what happened is it picked up the whole thing. It must have not been fully loose and it fell straight down. Hence why it's back here and it's all mangled. So our best course of action is Dave is gonna, in fact, none of us are gonna be off the side. Rare, he's gonna back up to it and get in front of the tractor and I'm gonna back up to it on this end. You'll see what I mean when we get this plan in motion. Whoa. That thing is nuts. Let's see. We are here. Back again. Knocked out a quick rollover. Hopefully these guys are ready. I'm gonna... Ooh, 
how exciting. Me first. There's my prize. Let's turn on my lights. There we go. Jam it in reverse. I am backed up. Ooh. Ooh. Let's see. While we were doing that little quick rollover, remember we had to leave because there was, uh, what did they guys say, some labor people that had to come and take pictures and approve this first. Uh, they had a new plan, which I think is absolutely genius. We're gonna get on each side of it and we split the load down the middle. So Dave's gonna rig to the passenger side and I'm gonna rig to the driver's side in the same spots. That way when we lift up, we'll lift it up at the exact angle it's at to clear that fence and uh, the landing gear. That's what they're very worried about. And then we'll set the tractor and the chassis in the middle. What a tight squeeze. Right, obviously recovery works this isn't what this area is meant for and these barriers down here give me some issues let's see if my outrigger will clear it that's the cool thing about having an h-beam style outrigger in the front at least is i have this tilt function so yeah i clear it so what i do is i go down with the outrigger and then i can tilt it the opposite way see how far i can get out Oh yeah, that's almost full, full extension on that side. So let's 
down with the outrigger. So I'm going to jump up top and get a bunch of wood. I got a crib it. You see this part, if I go down with this outrigger, this is gonna hit before it touches the spade. Same thing with the front. So you use a mix of wood and outrigger pads. Good thing I got a ton of wood up here. I think uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe five pieces. Two for the rear. The good thing is we're not lifting a horrendous amount of weight. Since we got a truck on each end, uh, it's only gonna benefit us that we're lifting up 50% on each truck. And it's just a tractor and an empty chassis. Perfect. Let's try the back, down. Close. One more time. Sweet. Oh, that's great. Now let's try the front. Uh, I'll get the headsets right now. So, foundation secure. Now it's just a matter of walking out the boom getting a really good amount of height. That's it time. Boom is walked out. So we'll be using grommet slings, my eight footers from Bailey's all across the board. Half inch in the front for the rims and the five eighths in the rear. Perfect, look at that. I think we'll do uh, the rear first.
<laughs> hey, how many shackles did I give you? Why am I missing one? Oh, I gave one to uh, Ricardo over here. You know what? I'm gonna go against the fence, not the uh, not the tire. All right, Josh. Inside, in between the two out the tires, pretty much. I think that's they're eight feet. Yeah. I mean, what do you think? Good idea? Idiot. I don't know, man. I kind of really like going uh, this way. No, I can't see. Let me see. Yeah, if we do that on the rears, it's gonna need a lot of protection though. You know what, actually? How long is, uh, let me see how long this strap is. Yeah, bro, let's do that. Let's go through the spokes. We'll put one in, just like the front. And then with the, the black Cordoba cover, That'll protect it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All right, now let's attach me shackle. Cordova. Come on. Done. gonna take off this mirror so when he puts tension on it that thing doesn't snap off yeah this thing's pretty jacked up but you know what no further damage oh yeah I'm loving this dude by the way I see a ton of people that uh on Instagram posting this Bailey's tow accessories equipment I am so glad it's catching on People are seeing the light. They see the light. Let's put some tension on it. Tension activated. 
about the buck. Cool. I might have to adjust that wear pad, but I think I'm good, man. Once you take off that mirror, it's go time. Do it. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm standing right here. Whenever you're ready, dog. All right, one. Wait, should we go up at the back first? Or both cables? Okay, go out. I'm gonna start going up. One, two, three. Hey, I cleared. I cleared the fence. Shoot, we gotta go high up on there. You see the outrigger? I mean the landing gear? Right, let's scar this baby. Dave, uh, extend out. Now let me go in with the blue only. Now the white only. I cleared it, I cleared it. Now you can boom up. Let's do a walk around. Cleared it. God, that's beautiful. A little higher? Okay. Yeah, you're right. Now we cleared it by a ton. All right, headset off. What's up, bro? Let me, hold on, Dave. So he was gonna try to move the strap forward so you could guys could try to swing that back in around or do something. I'm not he sure. wants to move the strap forward? What yeah. strap? Well, the strap, the, the, the blue piece of equipment forward, but it's actually gonna touch right there too, so I don't know. You want us to swing this way? If you can. Yeah, 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 hold on. Let me make sure. Uh... Yeah, I'm in the back, right? But if, but if we swing forward, we can at least rotate it to where it's straight, the chassis is straight inside and you can go forward there. Yeah, 
this, so he can go, he can move He's, he's gonna do it right now. Yeah, okay. Here, to make it easier, let me, I can do this too. Why, why don't we go higher? We got a West Valley car in the house. Rotator and a flatbed request. And the car's ready too. Oh yeah. Now they're using the big old crane. See how they're driving forward? So they can get it free. He can keep going. Hey, tell him to hold on. Where is he at? Back there. Hey, bro. Hey, hey, guys. Is it clear to walk there? Man, that is crazy, man. It's clear? Okay. Now we're going to go make sure to see if it broke free in the back. Oh, yeah. Is it clear? I was gonna move it forward a little more just so that hook will pass. Oh yeah, man, that's only like. Well, if you go a little further, mm -hmm. then we could we could bring it this way. That's what I mean. So that yeah. that it won't go back in. Right. So right now, once we move it, it's gonna it'll it'll pivot it that way. Yep. So. Uh, yeah, we can grant you. Man, we can how, how did that get? More. Yeah, just go a little like more that. so it, it, when yep. we pivot it doesn't try to get caught again. Yep. Yeah. So if you go just a bit more and then we'll, we'll try to pivot it this way. Good job, man. Thank you. Okay, clear to go forward. So as you've seen right now, uh, that thing got wedged into the machine itself. And we're not allowed to go back there behind that gate because there's automated, these automated machines are autonomous and they have to shut all that down. That thing moves slow. Oh, whoa, it turns. And so again, we're just waiting on them to give us the green light that is completely unstuck in the back and then we drop it. for some fun stuff. Let's rotate it a bit, Dave. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Be good. Better? We, we gave him a lot more room. Can you keep going? Yeah, sure. All right, Dave's gonna bring it in while I push it out. Ready? Go. Whoa. 
Dude, look at all that room now. Yeah, they're, they're caught up. So if he goes forward or back, no matter what, you know what'll help? Uh, why, why don't we start lowering it? If we lower it, it'll bring the back end. It'll probably force it to snap out. Okay, let's do it. I guess it was more stuck than we thought. Okay, now they're gonna try to move the machine forward again. this look at that rigging down You know what I'm thinking, right? Let's straighten it out, drop it, then we reattach to the rear and pull it. Yeah. I don't know, I think they just got it unstuck. They're gonna go forward again. Thank <laughs> you. 
Bring it down. All the way, Dave. Wait. Let's get the front down first, yeah? There. I'm gonna go blue out. Which way are you gonna rotate? All right, let's go. Damn, Dave, you got some experience doing this or what? Drop it? Okay, we got the green light, let's drop it. Watch, huh? Like a glove. How's the how's your rears? Me too, me too. Bad. Boom goes the dynamite. I would love to see some haters talk trash on this video. You always got that one. That one guy that could have done this with the Holmes 750 and 15 snatch blocks. Or with the one ton. Woo! Again, check it out. Eight foot, half inch grommet slings rated at 20,000 pounds in a basket in this configuration. I think this is the ballistic nylon one, I'm not sure, the Cordova, whatever. Just ask for Thad when you call Bentley's towing accessories. Tell him Josh sent you. Yeah, buddy. So they got that big old thing out of the way. What are they gonna do with that container? I don't know. Probably have to find a good chassis, obviously. Take it. It should drive. Oh, it's still stuck on the on the thing. No, not really. Bye bye container. God, those things are so cool. Here I am thinking I'm, I'm cool with my wireless remote on my rotator and this guy has a wireless container hauler. All right guys, I'm gonna put the camera down while Dave and I de-rig. All right, everybody, gates closed, trucks are put away. I don't care what anyone says, that was an amazing technical job. Perfection. Okay, I'm gonna move the truck forward once it starts. Good job, brother. Thank you, man. Besides cosmetic damage and emotional battle wounds, this looks pretty good. Ah. Yikes. How far forward? Just out of the gate? Just up a little bit. Air built 
ramped up. Yeah, thanks for the... That's it? Yeah, that's okay. good. I'll leave it on just so the air can continue to build. Secondary tank is still depleted. All right, sweet. Just wanted to record this on the way back over the Vincent Thomas Bridge. How nice it is. It's container heaven. Super nice. This bridge connects the 710 to the 110, so from Long Beach, the port of Long Beach, to the port of San Pedro. There's all the barges, all the vessels, everything you want, everything you get at the stores, most likely got shipped in from here. And that's my tour of the port. Again, peace out, y'all.